Blasphemy Law in Egypt, Wikipedia Article Audio The Blasphemy Law in Egypt penalizes, whoever exploits and uses the religion in advocating and propagating by talk or in writing, or by any other method, extremist thoughts with the aim of instigating sedition and division or disdaining and contempting any of the heavenly religions or the sects belonging thereto, or prejudicing national unity or social peace. In 1981, during the El Zaya El Hamra religious strife, the Egyptian penal code was amended to prohibit the insulting of religions. The law was supposedly enacted to protect religious minorities. However, many believe that the law is now being abused. The Constitution the court system According to the Constitution of Egypt, the state religion is Islam. The main source of legislation is Islamic jurisprudence. By the Constitution and the 1981 Education Act, religious education is compulsory in public and private schools. A religious education requires that all students be taught verses from the Quran. At the age of 16, every Egyptian must obtain an identity card. The card states one's religion as Muslim, Christian, or other. The card is necessary for most services including banking, schooling, and medical treatment. Egypt has three levels of ordinary criminal courts, the primary, the appeals court, and the court of cassation. Besides the ordinary criminal court, Egypt has an emergency state security court to hear cases about national security, and military tribunals to conduct hearings about terrorism and national security as well as military matters. Since 1981, Egypt has had an emergency law, which is renewable every two years. In May 2010, the Egyptian government extended the emergency law to May 2012. The emergency law gives authorities the power to restrict many human rights, including freedom of religion or belief as well as freedom of expression, assembly, and association. Under the emergency law, the security forces arbitrarily arrest and detain persons, mistreat them, and torture them. In 1993, the Supreme Constitutional Court ruled that the President may invoke the emergency law to refer any crime to an emergency or military court. The result of the court's ruling is that crimes regarding religious matters are often found not in the ordinary criminal courts but in other courts. Egyptian and international human rights groups assert that the primary purpose of the emergency state security court and the military courts is to punish political activism and dissent, and to persecute individuals who have unorthodox beliefs or practices. In the emergency or military courts, the accused has no right of appeal but the sentence is subject to confirmation by the president. The president may substitute his decision for a decision by an emergency or a military court. Article 98 of the Penal Code, as amended by Law 147-2006 states the penalty for blasphemy and similar crimes. The heavenly religions are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Sometimes, in place of, or in addition to, blasphemy, the courts hold an accused guilty of incitement to hate Muslims, defaming the President of the Republic, and insulting Islam. By Articles 89 and 110 of Decree Law 78, all Egyptians have the right to file lawsuits against those who have transgressed an exalted right of God. In 1996 or 1998, an amendment to the law required these so-called Hisba cases to be initiated by the general prosecutor. Those most frequently accused of insulting Islam are scholars, publishers, bloggers, 
human rights activists, political commentators, novelists, education reformers, professors, theologians, artists, filmmakers, politicians, Muslim liberals, and dissidents, members of disfavored religious groups, converts to Christianity, and members of faiths that originated after Islam. Martial Law from 1985, Al-Azhar University's Islamic Research Council has been an active advisor to the government on religious matters. Publishing a religious book without the IRC's approval is prohibited. The IRC has accused many writers of being blasphemous. The IRC has succeeded in having banned or censored many writings and other forms of expression. On June 1, 2004, Minister of Justice Farouk Seif al-Nasr gave clerics from Al-Azhar University authority to confiscate books and audio and videotapes that they believe violate Islamic precepts. Human Rights Watch notes that the fear of being accused of blasphemy or of insulting Islam has obliged writers in Egypt to censor themselves and has obliged academics to do without intellectual freedom. Find below the case of Nasr Abu Zaid. In May 1998, Didier Chaud, an instructor from France at the American University in Cairo, learned through the press that his use of Maxime Rodinson's biography Muhammad gave offense to the parents of some of his students. President Mubarak ordered that the biography be banned. The university did not renew Chaud's contract. In 2008, the government proposed to enact laws that would prohibit journalists from saying or doing anything that disturbed social peace, national unity, public order, or public values. Blasphemy Law In April 2015, Islam al-Bihari, a Muslim scholar and the host of With Islam on al Kira Welnas, used his program to call for reforming Islam, a message Al-Azhar University condemned as an insult to Islam. Al-Khira suspended his program indefinitely. He was arrested, charged with insulting Islam, convicted, and sentenced to five years in prison. Al-Bihari appealed the sentence but a court rejected the appeal in October. However, in December, a court reduced his sentence to one year in jail, he was later pardoned by the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. On June 16, 2014, Demiana Ahmad, a 23-year-old teacher in Luxor was imprisoned for six months. It was charged that she had claimed that Pope Shenouda was better than Mohammed, a claim that was flatly denied by the director of the school. In November 2012, seven Egyptian Christians were reportedly sentenced to death in absentia for their role in the anti-Mohammed movie Innocence of Muslims. Blasphemy is, however, not a capital crime in Egypt as the highest possible sentence under the blasphemy law is five years in prison. Selected Cases In 2012, the authorities arrested two Coptic Christian children for allegedly tearing pages of the Quran. 2015 In March 2010, the authorities arrested nine Ahmadiyya for insulting Islam. 2014 In April 2009, an Egyptian court cancelled the publishing license of a monthly magazine Ibda because, in 2007, it had published a blasphemous poem, On the Balcony of Leela Murad by Hilmi Salem. The court said the poem included expressions that insulted God. Before Ibda was shut down, a court forced Salem to return a state award for achievement in the arts. Salem had received the award for his entire body of work. The court held that the sin that he committed, against God and against society, 
challenging its traditions and religious beliefs should fail the sum total of his work, rendering him ineligible for any state honor or prize. In October 2008, the authorities arrested a blogger, Rita Abdel Rahman, who was affiliated with a religious group, the Quranist Movement. Rahman's blog called for political and religious reform in Egypt. The authorities charged Rahman with insulting Islam. Rahman spent nearly three months in detention. He complained about being physically abused. He was released in January 2009. 2012 In 2007, Egyptian police arrested Adel Fazi Faltas and Peter Ezat, who work for the Canada-based Middle East Christian Association, on the grounds that, in seeking to defend human rights, they had insulted Islam. On April 6, 2005, Egyptian authorities arrested Baha Eldin Ahmed Hussein Mohammed El Akkad. The authorities insinuated that El Akkad had committed blasphemy but did not specify his crime. An engineer by profession, El Akkad became a sheikh during more than 20 years as a member of a fundamentalist Islamic group, Tablai and Dawa. The group was active in proselytizing non-Muslims but strictly opposed violence. El Akkad has written two books, Islam, The Religion and Islam and Terrorism. The second work, completed in 2005, argues for love, peace and understanding in an Islamic context. In October 2005, Authorities held Abdel Karim Nabil Suleiman for 12 days because of his writings about Islam and about sectarian riots in Alexandria. Al Azhar University expelled Amer in March 2006 after its disciplinary board found him guilty of blasphemy against Islam. Well known for his secular views, Amer posted articles on his internet blog about Islam and about the university. The public prosecutor in Alexandria summoned Amer on November 7, 2006. On January 18, 2007, Amer stood trial for incitement to hate Muslims, defaming the President of the Republic, and insulting Islam. On February 22, 2007, a court sentenced Amer to four years in prison. Since that time, Amer has been in Borg al Arab prison and has been subject to mistreatment. In 2005, authorities arrested Baha al Aktad, a recent convert to Christianity. The authorities jailed al Aktad and repeatedly interrogated him about his insults to Islam. His lawyer was told that al Aktad was held on suspicion of insulting a heavenly religion. al Aktad's detention was renewed every 45 days until after two years he was released without explanation. In 2001, an emergency court sentenced Salaheddin Mohsen, a writer accused of blasphemy, to three years in prison with hard labor for writings deemed offensive to Islam. The court also ordered that all of Mohsen's books and publications be confiscated for containing extremist ideas. Mohsen's books promote secular thought. 2010 In 2001, a female preacher Manal Mania was sentenced to three years in prison for atheism and blasphemy. 2009 on 8 and May 9, 2000, students at Al Azhar University in Cairo rioted for two days over the publication in Egypt of Feast for Seaweed, a 20 year old novel by Haider Haider, a Syrian. Officials at the university had told the students the novel was blasphemous. On May 9, 2000, the Committee of the Supreme Council for Culture, a state appointed committee, concluded that the novel was not blasphemous. 
Officials at the university reconsidered the novel but insisted it was blasphemous. On July 1, 2000, Muhammad Hassanain Haikal, a prominent journalist and a former advisor to President Nasser, declared that the Fuhrer was a farce. The turmoil subsided. In 1993, Al-Gama A. Al-Islamiyya issued a fatwa against the playwright Karim al-Ra'i, citing as a reason his defense of Farag Fudda and stating that the defense of an apostate is proof of apostasy. The fatwa was subsequently withdrawn after the intervention of the Egyptian Organization for Human Rights. Six months later, Al-Ra'i was arrested and interrogated by Egyptian state security. He was held without charges. On his release he was told that the state censor had deemed his play City of Peace, about the Sufi poet Al-Halaj, blasphemous and that all his plays for the stage were denied a performance license. In 1992, NASR Abu Zaid submitted academic publications to a committee at Cairo University because he wanted to be promoted to the position of full professor. One member of the committee criticized the orthodoxy of Abu Zaid's devotion to Islam. The member said Abu Zaid's writings contained clear affronts to the Islamic faith. On March 18, 1993, Cairo University denied Abu Zaid a full professorship. Rabble rousers called Abu Zaid an apostate, and threatened him. A lawyer made application to have Abu Zaid divorced from his wife on the ground that a Muslim woman cannot be married to an apostate. The group Egyptian Islamic Jihad called for the killing of Abu Zaid. The police had to protect Abu Zaid if he wanted to go anywhere. On July 23, 1995, Abu Zaid and his wife left Egypt. They settled in the Netherlands. In 1992, Allah Hamed published The Bed. The novel features a scene in which lovers fornicate on a prayer rug. Al Azhar complained of blasphemy. The public prosecutor prosecuted. An emergency court sentenced him to one year in prison. He lost his position as inspector in the Ministry of Tax Authorities. In 1997, Egypt prosecuted him again for a voyage into the human mind, a philosophical reflection on faith and atheism. He received a sentence of one year. On account of his poor health, Hamed petitioned the Cairo Appeal Court to suspend his sentence. The court released him. On June 5, 2001, the public prosecutor put Hamed on trial because of his book Sadness of Frogs. 2008 2007 2005 2001 in December 1991, an emergency court convicted Allah Hamed for violating Egypt's anti-blasphemy law by publishing the void in a man's mind. In 1990, Al-Azhar University had complained that the novel had atheist and pagan ideas. The public prosecutor contended that Hamed's novel was a serious threat to the fundamental beliefs of Egyptian society and, in particular, those connected with the person of God Most Almighty and the heavenly religions, representing, an incitement to atheism and apostasy. The court sentenced Hamed to eight years imprisonment. The court convicted Hamed's publisher, Mohammed Madbuli, and Hamed's printer, Fathi Fadl, of abetting Hamed's crime but the president or the prime minister set aside all the sentences. Hamed was in jail for several months as he awaited the trial. Mad Bully was detained for four days before he appeared in court. Over his lifetime, Mad Bully appeared in court on 24 matters related to his publishing of provocative books. In 1990, Al Azhar University succeeded in having banned Farag Foda's book To Be or Not To Be. 
Foda was an outspoken critic of the repression by Islamic authorities in Egypt. Those authorities orchestrated a vicious campaign of lies to discredit and ruin Foda but Foda persisted in his criticism. On June 3, 1992, a group of scholars at Al-Azhar issued a communique which accused Foda of blasphemy. Five days later, two assassins from the group Al-Gama A al-Islamiyya shot Foda dead and wounded his son and several bystanders. Al-Azhar's Sheikh Muhammad al-Ghazali had previously declared Foda an apostate, and said that Islamic law justified his killing. Al-Gama A al-Islamiyya accepted responsibility for the murder. The group declared, Al-Azhar issued the sentence and we carried out the execution. In 1959, Officials at Al-Azhar University succeeded in having banned from Egypt Children of Gabelai, a novel by Nahib Mahfouz, an Egyptian writer. The officials said the novel was blasphemous. In 1994, Islamic extremists attacked the 82-year-old, Nobel Prize-winning Mahfouz outside his Cairo home. The attackers stabbed Mahfouz in the neck. He survived but with permanent damage to the nerves in his right arm. Mayfuz's novel was not published again in Egypt until 2006, the year of Mayfuz's death. 2000 1993 1992 1991 1990 1959 